Unit 3, Lesson 2 Test. Number 1. The beakers shown below contain pure water. Which of the following is a chemical property of the water in both beakers? A. The water is colorless. B. The water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. C. The water reacts with some metals. D. The water has a total volume of about 800 milliliters. Number 2. Luster, conductivity, and malleability are physical properties of metal. What makes these properties different from chemical properties? A. Physical properties relate to elements rather than compounds. B. Physical properties appear only after a chemical change occurs. C. Physical properties can be observed without attempting to change the identity of the substance. D. Physical properties describe elements in a solid state rather than a liquid or gas state. Number three, which of these choices is a physical property that does not change when the size of the sample changes? A, mass, B, volume, C, density, D, flammability. Number four, the picture below shows four objects, a paper clip, a pair of scissors, a needle, and a horseshoe. Assume that each object is made of the same metal. Which of these physical properties is not similar in all four of these objects? A. Mass, B. Magnetism, C. Specific heat, or D. Electrical conductivity. Number five, which of these is a chemical property of a sheet of paper? A. The paper can be burned. B. The paper can be crumbled. C. The paper does not attract a magnet. D. The paper does not conduct electricity. Number six, which of these statements describes a chemical property of an object? A. The object is white in color. B. The object has a powdery texture. C. The object's density is 2.11 grams per cubic centimeter. D. The object reacts with acid to form water. Number 7. Some properties are the same in a substance no matter the amount of the substance. Which of the following properties does not change based on the amount of the substance? A. Density. B. Mass. C. Volume or D, weight. Number eight, all matter has physical and chemical properties. These properties can be used to identify the type of matter. Which of these statements describes a chemical property? A, a particular substance evaporates at 30 degrees Celsius. B, a two foot long metal bar has a mass of only 176 grams. C, a certain heavy metal turns to a liquid at room temperature. D, a metal is added to a beaker of water and the beaker explodes. Number nine, the two beakers shown below contain pure water. Which of these properties is the same for the water in both beakers? A, mass, B, weight, C, density, D, volume. Number 10, which of these choices is an example of a physical property? A, the tarnishing of silverware. B, the texture of a piece of chocolate. C, the effect of acid rain on automobiles. D. The combustion of gasoline in a car engine. Number 11. Which of these statements best describes physical properties? A. Physical properties behave identically for all matter under the same conditions. B. Physical properties can be observed without changing the identity of the substance. C. Physical properties are observed by seeing how much a substance reacts with other substances. D. Physical properties cause atoms and molecules to change structure when substances are mixed. Number 12. Which of these statements best describes an example of a chemical property of a metal? A. It can tarnish. B. It is silver. C. It is shiny. D. It is solid. Number 13. One chemical property that can be measured in a substance is its reactivity with water. What is another chemical property? A. Density. B. Flammability. C. Malleability. D. Solubility. Number 14. All matter has physical and chemical properties. These properties can be used to identify the type of matter. Which of these statements describes a chemical property? A. A particular substance evaporates at 30 degrees C. B. A two foot long metal bar has a mass of only 176 grams. C. A certain heavy metal turns to liquid at room temperature. D. A metal is added to a beaker of water and the beaker explodes. Number 15. How many millimeters in a meter? A. 10. B. 100. 
C1000, D10,000. Number 16, what does the prefix centi mean? A10, B100, C1000, D1 divided by 100. Number 17, how many meters in a kilometer? A100, B1000, C1 million, D1 divided by 1000. Number 18, what is the definition of matter? A, anything that has mass. B, anything that takes up space. C, anything that we can see. D, anything that has mass and takes up space. 19, what is the definition of density? A, weight per unit volume. B, mass per unit volume. C, volume per unit mass. D, volume per unit weight. Number 20, what weighs more, a pound of feathers or a pound of gold? A, the gold, B, the feathers, C, they both weigh the same.